A Fort Mill woman is pushing city leaders to change a decades-old ordinance that doesn't allow chickens or hogs for personal use. She wants to own her own chickens for many reasons, including to help cut costs at the grocery store. The woman spoke with our South Carolina Bureau Chief Secura Speaks about her frustrations, especially while inflation is hurting wallets. I was like, I just want like a handful of chickens so I can go in my backyard and pick some fresh eggs. <laughs> That's all I want. But she's running into a problem. Fort Mill doesn't allow people to have chickens or hogs for personal use. But surrounding cities like Tiga Cay, Rock Hill, Clover and Charlotte, and even York County as a whole, have ordinances that permit ownership of those animals. Fitzgibbon says she'd like to cut costs at the grocery store by having her own eggs, as well as the nutritional value of organic eggs. But despite a long list of pros, Fort Mill Mayor Gwen Savage says the council probably won't revisit the ordinance. It's based on the need to ensure sanitary conditions, health codes, no, noise ordinances, noise conditions, um, so that everyone has a right to peaceful enjoyment of their property inside the tank. The mayor says there are tracts of land inside the county that are much larger and can accommodate for the care of farm animals and can manage the noises so they're less challenging for neighbors. <coughs> Adam Shoemate runs Eden Farms in Clover, where he's allowed to have farm animals. While he encourages York County folks to support local farmers, he says the upkeep of some animals, like chickens, isn't too much to handle. There is some normal maintenance and upkeep to keep them uh, in a clean area. But generally, if people are, are getting a few chickens in a coop that they either build or they purchase, they can do so and keep it clean. There's not a whole lot of uh, you know, nuisance from smell and things like that. Shakira speaks reporting there that the council has the authority to review and adjust ordinances, but the mayor tells Queen City News she'll be surprised to see this particular ordinance change due to the lot size and proximity of neighbors inside the town.